All right, we're getting a glimpse into this year's Something in the Water Festival set to kick off at the oceanfront in just six weeks. Yeah, so there was a community panel that took place last night to answer questions from people and kind of button up some of those details on safety concerns, the traffic, parking, even the coronavirus. News 3 reporter Chelsea Donovan has a recap of what was released last night. Chelsea? Yeah, guys, about 200 people turned out at that forum last night and learned a lot. We know that last year's festival was big. But Pharrell's Music Festival, a lot larger this year, from 35,000 last year all the way up to 60,000. And, of course, the festival imprint, a lot of which is taking place right here behind me at Neptune's Park, a lot bigger as well. Those musical acts are going to span all the way from 5th to 18th Street. That includes ad adding two additional stages. We also know that we have established a new rideshare pickup and drop off location. That's good news, as well as free rides for folks to get here on Hampton Roads Transit. Transit rather new workshops also going to be held at the convention center the week leading up to the big music weekend. Those are going to focus on things like the environment, Women's Day, Career Day, food and wine, innovation and tech. It's going to feature a lot of well known speakers, celebrities, even Olympians that have yet to be announced. We also know a lot more entrances will be established here at the festival location, as well as a new temporary cell phone tower that's going to be put into place after some hiccups last year. Let's toss now to Brian Solis, assistant to the city manager with some more important details. Our main goal is to make sure that the festival itself is as harmonious with our residents and our business community. Of course, a lot of people are ready for this in about six weeks. The new maps were just released. Those are on our website right now, WTKR.com. You guys mentioned coronavirus, of course. It's the biggest news right now, topping all the headlines. It's something that the festival, um, you know, folks, as are as well as the city is closely monitoring, taking all instructions right now for the CDC. But right now, everything is a go. Six weeks, April 20th to the 26th. We're live at the oceanfront. Chelsea Donovan, News 3.